In this week's chapter of Bleach, everybody's got a little bit of soul. They're super bad because they have just arrived at the Soul King Palace. Yes, the Quincy leader and his group of goons has arrived to take over the universe, and they don't care what they knock over or destroy in the process. I love their intro. It's fantastic. I also love the fact that Hoshwolf actually brings up the fact that the Quincy leader doesn't really seem to feel any emotion when he arrives at the Soul King Palace, and this is the implication that he has some strong connections to the royal family and that he might have actually been a part of this group originally, but they're not getting into that quite yet. This is the Penu Ultimate Villain of the series. They're going to save that for the end for a whole flashback. Fest. But what I love most about this is immediately Hoshwalf begins to summon all of the Quincy soldiers who arrive through this cool looking portal in the shape of a cross. But as soon as they arrive at the Soul King's Palace, they are immediately all wiped out by Karinji Tenjiro. Take that pronunciation, Nazis. One of my favorite things about Karinji, aside from his incredible design and his pointy pompadour that would make even Space Dandy blush, is his actual Zompok toe. It's unique and it also goes in line with his actual powers. If you guys remember back in the beginning of this arc, Ichigo and his friends arrived at the Soul King's Palace and they were healed by Karenji because of his hot springs. But he's able to actually use these in battle as well and he takes out all of the Quincy soldiers by drowning them in this hot water. And there's this one great scene where there's this one Quincy soldier who's wearing these goggles and then immediately his eyeballs start to explode out of them because of the intense heat. And I just could not help but think of the classic line from The Simpsons, My eyes! The goggles do nothing! The other interesting thing about Karinji's Zompok Toe is the actual form. Originally, he just had this big paddle, and again, that goes in theme with his whole water thing, but it actually has this blade that appears at the very end, and it is known as the Kin Pika, which doesn't exactly sound all that intimidating. If you put Pika at the end of something, it just reminds me of Pikachu. The final battle in Bleach this week takes place between Yuma Chika, Ikaku, and Giselle Jewel, who is the Z-Zombie Stern Ritter, and I love her character. Not only does she have a great design, but her powers are completely unique for the show, and the fact that she's going up against Ikaku and Yumichika is perfect, because they're like the odd couple of the series, and they completely clash with each other, but what's most interesting about the scene, aside from the final panel, is that Yumichika actually suggests that Giselle might actually be a man. And, you know, in anime, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes, but she definitely has a female form, but honestly, if Yumichika is saying this, I'm inclined to believe him. He seems to, you know, know all about this shit, but at the very end, you actually get to figure out what happened to Bombietta Basterbine, and believe it or not, she was turned into a zombie by Giselle Jewel, and she just arrives and just jumps into the sky and gets ready to attack both Ikaku and Yumichika, and I'm really excited about this because she was already a really powerful character by herself, and now she doesn't really, like, have any weaknesses now that she's a zombie, and this makes me, like, wonder if she's still going to be able to use all of her abilities, all of her uh, Quincy abilities, and just, you know, even her, like, whip and everything. And, uh, or maybe she's just going to be a mindless foe to fight against. But I think this is really interesting, and it sort of reminds me a little bit of Yamamoto's abilities to summon the massive uh, skeleton army, although I think that Giselle's probably going to have a little more control over Bombietta, which I think is just going to be really awesome. So there it is, just a very simple chapter of Bleach this week. Oddly enough, they decided not to get back to the main characters like Ichigo, Chad, and Orihime, especially after they focused on them so much last week. But I'm, I'm not too disappointed by any of that because I loved going back to the Soul King's Palace because if there's one thing I'm interested in most about this arc, it's actually getting to learn a little bit more about Zero Division and the actual Soul King's family because we've never seen them, we knew nothing about them, and apparently they're like the linchpin to this universe. They're really, really important. And uh, obviously this goes in line with learning a little bit more about the Quincy leader himself. Uh, there was a lot of cool action this week. Karinji definitely showed off his stuff when he arrived and took out all those Quincy soldiers. And my only fear is that he's going to be defeated really easily. And I only say that because he's the first member of Zero Division to come out and face them. And usually the first guy who comes out usually doesn't end up being the winner of the entire arc. Let's face that, guys. He's probably going to get hurt pretty bad. But I imagine he's going to be joined by his other members and everything. But otherwise, good chapter, good artwork, a lot of cool panels, a lot of cool character artwork, cool action at the end, and a lot of fan favorites. So check out this one. I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10, only because I'm really interested in the prospect of Karenji actually fighting against the Quincy leader, or maybe even Ishida. That would be awesome. This is just an excuse to show off how far Ishida has come. So check it out, guys. Pretty cool chapter.
Thank you guys for watching my review today. Before you leave, make sure and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out our videos tremendously. And also watch all of our videos and subscribe to our channel. You can also check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. We'll put links to those in the description box below for you guys. So that concludes my review today. Super Kami Guru 9000, out.